Sex Roma. Sir Gregory Hale's brass chest from his hotel to a bank vault, Nayland Smith is trapped by agents of the Sea Fund, a powerful Oriental secret society. Seeking a clue to his whereabouts and to the identity of the mysterious man with the limp, Dr. Petrie and Detective Sergeant Fletcher, both disguised as sailors, have gone to John Key's joy shop, an unsavory den on the bank of the Thames, frequented by Asiatics. They pause for a moment at the door of the joy shop. Fletcher is giving his companion a few last instructions. Don't speak if you can help it, Doctor. If you have to, use a dialect. By the way, what shall I call you? Dr. Petrie is a bit formal for the joy shop. Oh, well, Jim will do, or Doc. Jim it is, then. Charlie will do for me. Right. Come along. Hello, John. How is your blinking business this evening? Ah, pinching much good now. You bring plan, Charlie? Yep. Maybe show him play one piece of card. He's got plenty of money. <laughs> him no policy. No, John, he's no Bobby. Uh, you go inside. Make him one piece of claim all night. Come on. He says it's all right. You savvy pigeon, Doctor? Oh, I can carry on if necessary. Good. In here. Take a quick look round. Then pay no further attention to anybody. Get the lay of the place. In that room to the left, Fantan. The door at the back, Opium. That's our next move. There's a vacant table near that rear door. We'll take it. If anyone gets in your way, shove him aside. Come on. Bit of all right, this place, eh, Jim? Sit down. You're nervous. Remember what I told you. Be careful. Who's that woman coming toward us? Zuleika. Careful now. Hello, Charlie. Why you come so late? Better late than never, Zuleika. Besides, we ain't late. It's only the shank of the evening. Is this your strong friend? Yep, that's him. How you call him, Charlie? His name's Jim. Jim, aye. <laughs> this nice name. What, you and your friend drinking? The same as usual. I'm plenty of it. <laughs> I bring it right away. That girl. She's, she's the Aya of the hotel. You can't be mistaken. Positive. I know her. She was dressed differently, of course, but I can't be mistaken. Listen. That dragging step. A cane. The man with the limp. We're on the verge of something, Fletcher. You heard it? Plainly. It must be in there. The opium den. I chose, man. This place holds the key to the whole mystery. Quiet. She's coming with the drinks. Zuleika, I bring you good drinks this time. Here. Now, Jim, you will do something for me later? Anything you say, Zuleika, now or later. Mm, good. Fine. <laughs> it's nice for your friend, Charlie. I am going like him. Uh -huh. Here's your money for the drink. You pay later, maybe. 
You sure you do something for me, Jim? Sure I will. I told you anything, any time. Soon I tell you. You do what I say, I pay you well. You stay here now. I will call you. Now I'm positive. That girl drove the cab that came for Smith this morning. And it's plain Providence brought us here tonight. She's a member of the sea fan? Undoubtedly. Sit tight then and wait. We'll play the hand as it's dealt us. Don't do anything rash. Ah, now's the time. She's just come out of the opium den. She's motioned for us. Come on. Any plans? No plans. We'll be guided by circumstances. Softly now. Come now, you two. You will help me now, no? Right, oh, Zuleika. Lead the way. Come then. In here, in this shed. You two carry it and come with me. Where do you want it, Zuleika? This door. It opens on the wall. Bring the box there. Hurry. Right, Al. There we go, Jim. Hoist it up. The box, Fletcher. It's a coffin. Right. But what or who is in it? Smith. I, I'm positive. Look. It's just been nailed up. Hurry, you two. Bring the box here. Then I tell you what to do. Carry on, Petrie. Not the time now to show our hand. Come on, the box. Where are we put it, Zuleika? It's blinking every eye, Si. You must carry it down walk steps to a little boat. Right, Al. Lead the way. We are not far enough, Fletcher. We can't take it to that boat. Right. When have you give the word, then? I'll take care of the girl. You get the box open. Ready? Now. What is it? Why you put down box? Bring it to Not the this bo- time, Zuleika. <gasps> I got Fletcher. She's making for the boat. Now get her. The signal to Weymouth. Get her. Right. Weymouth! Weymouth! All right, men. Clean up that guy. Arrest them all. We'll have the box open in half a moment, Dr. Petrie. Get at it, Thomas. Ellis, use the crowbar. Lively now. All right, now. Well, they're opening the box, Doctor. Will they have a look at Fletcher here? He's hurt. Fletcher? What? I know oh, that's a nasty cut. How did this... Uh, she got me with a knife. Down there at the boat. Your friend, Smith. Easy, old man. See? They're opening the box. I am Joe, Weymouth. Fletcher's fainted. He's hurt bad. Is he finished? Well, it's a nasty wound, Weymouth. Painful, no doubt, but not necessarily fatal. You see here? The knife slipped along a rib. We'll get him to the hospital immediately. I'll turn him over to the police surgeon. Right. Inspector Weymouth, we have it open. It's, it's Mr. Smith's body, all right. What? His body? I can't be dead. Here, let me see. Oh, thank heaven. His pulse is strong. Your flask, Weymouth. Here. You're certain he's all right? Yes, drugged, I think. Jove, I wish I had my case. You see? He'll be all right presently. Give me a hand. We'll lift him up. Come here. Oh, my God. What? It's all right, Neil, don't you? Here, take another swallow. Petrie. Weymouth, the, the brass chest. They they got it. Easy, old chap. Rather the chest than you. Thanks, old boy. You you came through all right? Right as rain. But if you can, tell us what's happened. Oh. First, how did you know I was in that box? Well, I didn't know. I was sure of it, though, the moment I saw it. You saw what else it contains? Look. I and Joe. Gold ornaments, cups, vases. Looks like the loot of a cathedral. What is it, Nayland? The treasure of the sea fan, I believe. Where it came from or where it was bound, I don't know yet. You called it the treasure of the sea fan. You don't suppose that... Oh, not their entire resources, Weymouth. Something gathered here and there to be shipped, I suppose, to the society in the East. Then you and that box were also to be shipped to sea fan headquarters? I doubt that. I'm not important enough for the black poppies. The black poppies? You mean the sea fan, don't you? I mean, I'm certain now the black poppies and the sea fan are one and the same. If not that, they're at least working together. Lying there in that den, I learned quite a bit. You were in there while Fletcher and I... Yes, I heard you come in. I heard you talking with that she-devil who drove my cab this morning. Ah, then I was right about the cab driver. But how did you get into that box so quickly? While you and Fletcher were drinking in the outer room, Zuleika and one other took me out, drugged me, and, I suppose, nailed me up in the box. How did they work it, Smith, from the cab angle, I mean? Oh, easily enough. The windows were fastened down. 
Some sort of anesthetic was shot through the speaking tube. Uh, some of the oldest and most shop-worn tricks are still the most effective. As used by the sea farm, yes. But they have others, Weymouth. Some that you and I never heard of. I uh, see that. It also looks as if your plans had leaked through to these people somehow. Not the least doubt of that. My suspicions point to high quarters. Mr. Smith, in here, sir. That's Ellis. He's found something. Hi, Jove. Look there, Nayland. The missing brass chest. Hmm. And John Key. He brought it in from the cellar. I caught him just as he was making off with it. I mean, don't like he always blabble it. Little bats make plenty trouble. Yes, you're in plenty trouble, John. You're going to prison because of it. I mean, he mean not like he prison inspector. No can watch in my house. Don't worry about your house, John. It'll be a long time before you see it again. Take him away, Alice. Come on, John. You're going to come with me now. Come on. The, uh, the chest, Leyland, are you going to open it? I think not. I'll have it valued in the morning by Myers. Meanwhile, there's nothing more to be done here. We've gathered in most of the customers of the place, and I suppose you'll want to question them. No. They'll all be small fry. They'll know little or nothing. Don't hold them on my account. You'll be going back to the hotel or to Baker Street? For the present, Weymouth, the chief wants me at the hotel. You'll find us there in case you want it. Very well. I'll get in touch later, then. Good night. Good night, Weymouth. Come along, Peter. Well, Neil, a pleasant little evening. By Jove, old chap, I wish you'd get rid of this chest. It's the key to all our trouble. And our contact with the enemy, Petrie. No, we'll keep the brass chest for the present. But you're going to put it in the bank vault, eh? I'm not quite certain yet just what I'll do with it. I'll know better after we've had it valued tomorrow. But if it contains Sir Gregory's report, I should think you'd be anxious to turn that over to the India office. I'm not sure it does contain Sir Gregory's report. At any rate, I'm convinced it holds something else as well. Something of vastly more importance to the sea fan. Then why not put an end to conjecture to say nothing of the suspense and open the thing? It's the only clue to the business that we have. There may be other clues inside. For the present, Petrie, I have a very definite reason for not opening it. Besides, we haven't the key. Uh, you're keeping something back, Neil. And now, what is it? <laughs> Bear with me a bit longer, old chap. Meanwhile, if I, what I suspect is true, any knowledge you might have of the contents of this little brass chest would be extremely dangerous to you. No more dangerous to me than to you, Nayland. However, if that's what you want... But... By Jove, I only just recalled it. The man with the limp. I heard him back there in that opium den where you were. You didn't by any chance see him? I did, Petrie. He was the one who gave me the drug. The man with the limp is Dr. Fu Manchu. Shadow of Fu Manchu.